The two witnesses were traveling in the car at the time at which the incident occurred, and both have given their own separate account of the events which led up to the tragic and premature death of a young man. It is for you to consider whether the defendant's actions were dangerous or whether he himself was the victim of unavoidable circumstances. What you must decide is, did the standard of driving displayed by the defendant fall far below that which would be expected of a competent and careful driver? And would it have been obvious to a competent and careful driver that it would be dangerous to reverse at high speed along Siskin Road in the middle of that afternoon? If you are satisfied in both of these matters, then you must return a verdict on the defendant of unlawfully causing death by dangerous driving. Oh, Derek. Sir. I was just down the road. My meeting finished early. I wonder how things are progressing. Well, it's all over by the shouting, as they say. Jury's taken forever. Oh. Not as clear-cut as you thought. Apparently not. How's Tony? Seems to be coping. No, that's all I need. Bad enough having Conway hanging around. You shouldn't take it out on him, Tony. Standing in as a character witness for you, mate. I wonder who twisted his arm. You won't need a character witness. There's no way the jury's going to find you guilty. No. They're certainly taking their time about it. And if they listen to Dave Quinnan in the accident investigation. Yeah, but you've had your say. And Luke. You'll be fine, mate, honestly. Yeah. Whatever happens, I won't forget it. Tony? Just thought I'd offer my support. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Good luck, Tony. Would the foreman of the jury please stand? Madam Foreman, has the jury reached a verdict on which you're all agreed? Yes. On the count of causing death by dangerous driving, do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Yes. Your Honour, we have considered the alternative offence of driving without due care and attention, and on this charge, we find the defendant guilty. Before I pass sentence, are there any mitigating circumstances which you would like to be taken into consideration? We would like to call a character witness, Your Honour. Chief Inspector Conway. I'm Chief Inspector Derek Conway, attached to Sun Hill Police Station, Your Honour. I've been Chief Inspector at Sun Hill for the past ten years. So what's this mean? It was an accident. He was only doing his job. Well, it could have been a lot worse. At least he's not going down for it. So what do you reckon he'll get? Well, 12 points and he loses his licence, six and he loses his job as a police driver. That's not fair, is it? He's a good driver. Yeah, he's a good driver and a damn good copper. Well, he's lucky he had you on his side, really. It wasn't only me, you know. No? Who else was it down to, then? You. And Chief Inspector Conway. Conway? You, you didn't tell him what we talked about earlier, did you? Do I look like I'm brain-dead, Dave? <laughs> D don't answer that. He was just talking at lunchtime and he was telling me that he once had to give evidence against one of his colleagues. Really? Yeah. His mate got three years. Lost everything. So I took his advice and tried to butter up the jury. Well, like he said, you make the jury smile, you got the judge in your pocket. Come on. PC Stamp. Having listened to the excellent testimonial given on your behalf by Chief Inspector Conway, and taking into consideration your years of service and the specialist nature of your job, I have decided not to impose the maximum sentence. You will receive a fine of £400, and your driver's licence will be endorsed with five penalty points. Thank you, Your Honour. Court will rise. Mate, what did I tell you? I knew you were going to get off. Thanks, George. I can't believe it. Well done. Thanks very much. You're great. Thanks, George. You've been terrific. No worries, mate. I really think it's Luke that he should be thanking. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Thank you, sir. We appreciate what you said. Pleasure, Tony. Well done, Tony. Thank you, sir. Tony. I, um... Well done, mate. Oh, well, God. I'm glad someone's happy. <laughs> It's over, just forget it. Let's go and get a beer, eh? Right? Busy start. 
DS Hornby, area complaints. I'd like you to sign for this. It's a Form 164, notification that you'll appear before a police disciplinary board. Well, well, considering he's looking at losing his job and his pension for the second time this year, I'd say he's bearing up remarkably. Dude, I've got no training. I've already ended up with some tin pot security job pulling in two quid an hour. I can't pay my mortgage for that. But listen to me. You have been a pain in the butt half the time, and okay, okay, with good reason. But after all that, you expect me to go back and tell the team that, that you just chuck the towel in.